polite to me during the fucking debate, but then running to their little fucking chat, talking shit, sending their little fucking followers. When have I been disrespectful to these righties, huh? When have I been disrespectful to them? They take it for weakness. They take it for weakness. Big mistake. Big, big mistake. I'm going to prove to you that the crisscross theory of politics is correct. <clears throat> Anarchists, libertarian leftists are in an alliance, whether consciously or unconsciously, with these disgusting psycho LARPers on the fucking internet calling themselves fascists. In reality, they're anarchist psychos. Because real fascism is going to come from the DSA and it's going to come from war with China. These people, they're psycho anti-social anarchists. But it's two sides of the same fucking coin. Two sides of the same fucking coin. Thank you, George of Swan. I respect everyone who respects me. You show me respect, I'll show you respect. But you want to jeopardize my fucking livelihood? Then you're my enemy number one, motherfucker. You're my enemy number one, motherfucker. I don't give a fuck what you call yourself, bitch. I live only for infrared. I only live for infrared. You fuck with that, you fuck with more than my livelihood. You fuck with everything I dedicate my fucking life to. Everyone always asks me, Haas, why are you so nice to right-wingers? Because I never cast the first fucking stone. Who cast the first stone in World War II? Huh? Did the Soviet Union invade the Nazis? Did they invade Italy? Who cast the first stone? And how did it turn out? How did it turn out? Remember how it turned out. Don't make them forget. Don't let them make you forget. You understand? I never cast the first stone. I don't start shit, I end shit. I don't give a fuck if you call yourself a fascist. You fuck with my livelihood, that's when you're gonna start getting my attention. Fucking coward. Fucking coward trying to de-platform. Just like these lefties. Same thing as the left. Now a lot of you, you coming in here, you're gonna ask, oh, how is BreadTube in an alliance with these far right people? It's not consciously, although there are conscious connections. You remember the first time I got suspended, right? Who was behind that? It was a lefty who brought in their far right friends to get me deplatformed. I didn't forget that. Fucking snakes. I crush 
Despite being polite, I was a polite, respectful gentleman. And I still wipe the fucking floor with that guy from last night. So what do they have to do? They have to resort to taunting me because I'm protecting my livelihood. I'm protecting infrared. Somehow that makes me in ungenuine, ingenuine. These motherfuckers don't even show their fucking face on the internet because they're scared of being found out in real life. They don't even show their fucking face because they don't want to be fired from their jobs looking like weirdos in their social circles. They don't want to get fired from their school. They don't even show their fucking face. And they want to mock me because I'm protecting the stream. Just think about it. Imagine if that was my last debate ever. In order to fucking debate people, I need to be here. If I'm not here, I can't debate anyone in the fucking first place. It's like what I said. It's just like what I fucking said. Imagine you're in the boxing ring. And there's this whole crowd. In the middle of the fucking fight, you found out. Your house got burned down. Or your house is about to get burned down. The thing that allows you to box in the first place. Your home base. Your home gym. That's going to be gone. This is going to be your last fight. You wouldn't be frustrated? You wouldn't be frustrated? Would you be focused on the boxing match? Or would everything flash before your eyes? And now you're focusing on how do I protect my fucking home so I can box again? You think I do this shit for me? You think, you know what? I'm going to be disrespectful now. That guy was a fucking idiot. He's not a smart guy. What do I learn from him? If I want to learn something, I'll talk to Logo. I'll talk to Kantbot. I'll talk to these interesting, smart people who actually know something. That guy is not smart. There is nothing you learn from him. I learn nothing from him. I do this shit for my audience. I do it for you, my audience. You understand? That's who I do it for. I do it for the audience. I don't do this for me. You think I fucking learn anything from this? So if my platform is gone, what the fuck am I doing it for? What the fuck am I doing it for if my platform is gone? Tell me that. Dumb fuckers. And you know in the comments, you know what they were saying? Ooh. Oh my god, this proves that Haas is just a... Oh, you claim you're a Marxist and that big business supported fascism? But you rely on big business's rules to, to have a presence on the internet. And they think it's smart. They actually think that's smart. They think it's smart pointing out the fact that I have to be on platforms like Twitch or YouTube in order to get my message out. Because that's the society we fucking live in. And that's what actually where people's fucking attention is. And they think it's smart pointing that out. They think it's somehow smart to point that out. Just like how they would, an anarchist says, Oh, you follow the laws of the country you live in? Oh my god, you're such a bootlicker. And they think it's smart. They think it's smart. And you know why? Because just like anarchists, they represent the lumpen class. The class of criminals, the class of declassed, antisocial, outcast, marginal people who have nothing to do with mainstream conservative society. These, let me tell you, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know what? I'm gonna burn all the fucking bridges. Why not? If you are here in 2021 calling yourself a fucking fascist, you're a fucking nerd, you're a fucking idiot, you're a fucking LARPer, you're no fucking different than a fucking anarchist, a leftcom, or any of these other Marxoid fucking nerds. You're a fucking LARPer. There is no fascism in 2021. Fascism was absorbed by American imperialism. And the next fascism is going to come from the DSA. And it's going to be to mobilize the country against China. And AOC is going to be behind it. That's where fascism is going to come from. But if you're out here calling yourself a fucking fascist in 2021, 
You're a fucking nerd LARPer, and half of these people are ex left com nerds. They used to be left communists. They're all fucking nerds! And they're not conservatives. They're not conservatives. They're not conservatives. They're anti social degenerates who want to rebel against all of society and defy all of society. Society, I'm gonna be edgy. I'm gonna go against all the basic norms that are shared by the population. Oh, fuck you. Yeah, the same fucking shit as a leftist. It's the same thing as Antifa. It's the same thing as these fucking anarchists. It's the same thing as these blue haired fucking people that just want to shock people's sensibilities. A real fucking conservative does not call themselves a fascist and does not identify with fucking fascists. A real American fucking conservative has fucking grandparents maybe that fought in World War II? Why the fuck would you be a fucking fascist, huh? A real right winger, I'm not a right winger, but if a real right winger, why would you call yourself a fascist? What, do you, what does that have to do with traditional values? What does that have to do with conservatism? What does that have to do with uh, defending your freedoms? The real right-wingers in America are the Ron Paul people. The Ron Paul OGs are the real right-wingers in America. These people calling themselves fascists, they're a bunch of fucking LARPers. They're a bunch of fucking anarchist degenerates. The crisscross theory of politics is correct. Our only friends on the other side of the aisle is the Ron Paul people. Ron Paul was a real conservative. He actually reached out to majority American people and he related to them. He didn't tell them all this bullshit. I'm angry, Giovanni Gentile. Shut the fuck up. And Gentile was a dumb bitch anyway. Gentile was a dumb bitch anyway. He was a dumb bitch anyway. The reason I don't go hard on fascists is because I don't believe they're fascists. But now I understand they're anarchists. And now I'm going to go hard on them. Now I'm going to go hard on them. You understand? Fucking psycho, antisocial, degenerate is what they are. It's this, the shit they tell me is the same fucking thing leftists tell me. Oh, you're a grifter. You just sold out for the Twitch money. Oh, you have to do it. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up, you fucking loser. They all want to drag me down, crabs in a bucket, so I be a fucking loser like them. And I don't reach anybody. It's like, listen, I'm going to address them directly. All those people in the comms, ready? Hey, bitch! The only fucking reason you know about me is because I've been following through with my plan. That's why you know about me. If I listened to you, you would have never even heard of me. Because I wouldn't fucking be here, you dumb fuck! What you're effectively telling me is that I have to be off the internet to be honorable. Why? So I don't make any difference? Oh, you're going to be just like Hassan. If I was half Hassan's level, if I was half of where Hassan's at, there would literally be a third party. If I was... If I was half of where Hassan's at, I would have already fundamentally changed the landscape of American politics. You may not believe that because you're a dumb fuck who doesn't have any information theory, any media theory, any real theory of politics and how it works. I know what I'm fucking doing. And I've known what I was doing since the very first fucking day that I started when I had zero viewers and I built all of this from scratch because I know what I'm fucking doing. Because I know what I'm fucking doing. You don't. And you're trying to fuck it up for me. You're trying to fuck it up for me.
They all try to argue with me too. They try to argue with me. Well, 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 Twitch is big corporate. They're not gonna. Yeah, they think they know. Dumb fuck. Get to one third of my fucking size, then talk to me, bitch. Get one hundred concurrent viewers and then talk to me. You want to give me advice and argue with me? It's just like fellow traveler. It's just like when the lefties came on. It's the same fucking thing as when they came to argue with me. It's the same fucking thing. You know what that guy was arguing yesterday? But he was being so fucking polite. He was being so fucking polite to me that I was being respectful. But now that I know the fucker was talking shit, now we can go at it. This bald fucking guy. He's literally arguing anarchist direct action. I said, I don't know how all you want to do is sit on your ass and stream repeating the same fucking bullshit that these fake MLs, these LARPers, and these ultra leftists been telling me since I started fucking streaming. And I asked him a very simple, concise question, and he did not fucking respond. I said, what is a political action? He said, oh, you know, going to talk to you. I said, why? What does that, what's the effect of that? He said, oh, well, uh, it'll put the message out there. Really? So when I say that political action is just information plus organization and nothing else, you're confirming that. And I said, political action is information plus organization. And, I, and he said, no, it's not. It's more than that. I said, what is an example of it? What is a fucking example of political action? Thank you, it's not Soviet as Azel. And he couldn't fucking give me an answer. So I thought, that's pretty clear how that fucking end off, ended off. That's pretty fucking clear how things ended. But apparently, something got lost in translation after the debate. Apparently, something got lost in translation with these dumb fucks. Oh, Haas didn't make any arguments. Oh, my God. Haas. Haas didn't make... He didn't let him talk. Oh, my God. Haas didn't let him talk. Haas didn't make any arguments. Oh, my God. Haas didn't say anything. You motherfucker! He didn't address my points! If he had an argument, why didn't he fucking say it during the debate? He had all the time in the world to bring up Anything he wanted to. You fucking sore loser bitch. I'm that powerful. Even when I'm polite and cordial to people, I fucking wreck them. I get inside of their head and they all have to type thousands of essays, thousands of paragraphs, coping so much about, oh my god, Haas lost. Haas wasn't addressing any of the arguments. Oh my god, Haas was not citing books because, because apparently debates just mean you quote and cite books and sources. Okay, if there's a factual claim under dispute, we can go to sources. That's the only fucking relevance of sources. A fucking debate is a matter of reason. It's a matter of saying shit with your chest, arguing from logic, whatever the fuck you want. A debate is not a fucking competition. It's not a fucking uh, DJ competition. Ooh, let me see how many quotes I can get out. Quote, quote, quote. Quote, quote, quote. Zip, 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 zip. Zip, 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 zip. Quote, quote, quote. Quote, quote. That's not a fucking debate. That's not a... F I don't know what the fuck that is, but that's not a fucking debate. That's two robots reciting some shit from a fucking whatever. Thank you, Natika, sir. Thank you, Natika, sir. How the fuck is that a debate? I'm gonna give you my... And then, you know what pissed me off too? That dumb fuck cultured thug? That stupid fuck? You know what pissed me off the most about that fucking guy? Why in the fuck? What were you proving by showing books on stream? And I got this book, and this book, and this book, and this... What? So showing the cover of the book is gonna make a difference? Why don't you just talk about it? What, is, what does it make a difference if you show... What a fucking dumbass! I'm chat, chat, chat. I'm gonna debate you. I'm gonna debate you, chat. Ready? Here's my. This is how cultured thug the dumb fuck debates. Ready? This is how he debates. Ready? Ah, I win. Here's a look. Woo! Everything contained in this book is my debate. Woo! I'm not gonna actually um debate myself. 
and explain through the debate why this supports me and, and actually put it in my own words. I'm just gonna show you this book. This book is my victory. Pokemon, it's it's like Pikachu. Pikachu, I choose you. Charizard, I win the debate, guys. Woo, I'm showing books. Fucking dumbass. That's not a fucking debate. Anything relevant in whatever fucking book you're showing, you should be able to put it in your own fucking words, wear it on your own fucking chest, and fucking just debate it. You don't, showing me the book is not gonna fucking do anything. You're not fucking casting a spell on me. You're not fucking, there's no magic going on where like all of the contents of the book are magically being transmuted through the camera because I can see the fucking cover. You look like a fucking clown just showing books on stream. Thank you, Bunny Mocha. Isn't he in his 40s? No, fuck the elders now. I don't like, they used to say, respect your elders. In this case, fuck my elders. Because this guy fucking disrespected me beyond the threshold of human acceptability. He was polite during the debate, and then after the debate, he started talking a lot of shit. He made a fucking video mocking me. Make commies quit. My fascism controlled by Big Corp and we Marxists are the true fighters against Big Corp and capitalism. No, don't show that book by Big Corp platform that gives me my source of income. That will ban me. Thank you, Havoc. Now let me break down why this guy's a fucking moron. So fascists are anti-Semites mostly, right? That's not my argument, but that's, that's what they are, right? And they believe a certain group controls the state and society, right? Yes or no? That's what they believe, right? Not all of them, but many of them. And if they don't believe that a certain ethnic group does, then they'll just they'll be like the plutocrats or some some group they don't like, right? Some kind of whatever the ruling class, whatever, right? It doesn't have to be the anti-Semitic shit, right? It could be anything. Okay. I will logically prove to you using the standard of reason any standard of reason why you're a fucking hypocritical bitch you are a fucking hypocrite so you're a fascist and you claim to be against society and against the state as it currently is right and you're the true fighters against corruption and the ruling class and society right that's what they say right that's what fascists argue isn't it yes or no is that yes or no what fascists argue right that is what they argue, in fact. So let me ask you a question. Fascists who are claiming they have a strategy, political strategy in this country, including CT, New Frontier. Let me ask a question. Do they follow the laws of this country? Do they follow the laws of this country? Yes or no? So if they follow the laws of this country, then by their own reasoning, they are hypocrites who are in fact shills of the state and the ruling class and the people they allege control our society. Thank you, Liquid Orchard. That is a one-to-one, -one, airtight, indisputable, black and white example of why their argument is fucking bankrupt but here's the kicker here's the kicker this is why these people are fucking psychos here's the kicker you know what a, fa uh, a self-proclaimed fascist will say to respond to that you know what they'll fucking say in response chat i'll tell you what they'll say well we're irrationalists we don't even believe in reason in the first place if you don't believe in reason in the first place, and you think reason is soy, why would you make any argument to begin with? I'll tell you why they make an argument to begin with. They don't believe in being rational and debating like a man and actually justifying their arguments somehow. So I'll tell you why they even make this argument in the first place. Because they know intentionally, they're doing it intentionally, to deceive you.
They want to deceive and manipulate the audience. They are fucking liars and their own literature confirms it. Their own literature says we must lie to the sheep. We must lie to the sheep because truth doesn't matter. I never lie to the audience. I am always truthful with the audience. Always. Every argument I make in public, I will defend with every fiber of my being. When have I refused a debate? When have I refused to defend everything I put out? Why am I debating that fucking two viewer loser tonight on YouTube at 10 p.m.? Because I'm in the light of day, I'm on the side of truth, and these people are fucking liars! Based. Thank you, Papa Shuffler. The fucking guy I'm about to debate, he's the biggest fucking nerd on the internet. He literally sounds like the Cans Cuck guy. One to one sounds like that. They taunt me because Twitch is strict against me. Because they are unfair towards me. As if it's my fault. As if it's not because I'm a victim. As if I'm the one who creates the rules. I have to follow the rules or else I get censored and repressed. And they're saying the manly thing to do is get censored, get repressed, and no longer exist at all. Well, you would have never even fucking heard of me in the first place if I listened to that advice. Thank you, Mocha. Thank you, Mocha. A lot of lefties in my shoes would use this as an opportunity to join Antifa and join all these fucking lefty bread tube people and say, oh, guys, you're right. We, should, we need to support Biden. These people are horrible. But you know what the truth is? 99% of conservatives will never have anything to do with these scumbags. You, they are two sides of the same coin. Trump supporters are not fascists. They do not glorify the Nazis. They don't glorify fascism. They hate fascism. All honest working people the world over are enemies of fascism. You know what the Trump supporters say? You know what I've seen them say? They talk to Russians and they say, hey, the media is demonizing you Russians. We're going to team up just like we teamed up in World War II. Side by side, brothers, against the deep state and the mainstream. Just like how we took on the Nazis together, we're going to take on this new evil foe together. That's the majority of American conservatives and working people. Fascism and, listen, Antifa and the fascists are two sides of the same coin. The left in America are the ones who created the boogeyman of fascism. Fascism never had soil in this country. Never. It was created by the left. And these LARPers on the internet, these fascists, they just I identified with the fucking boogeyman the left created. They directly identify with it. Every honest person knows I am not a fascist. I'm not even a right winger. But they want to project their own evil, their own demons, the left, 
onto me. Just like how all of them accuse me of being a Nazbol and they accuse me of being a fascist. Thank you, it's Blaze. They're projecting their own evil, their own sickness in their own heart onto me. And these people calling themselves fascists are the little scumbags in the crowd taunting me, cheering them on. They both work together. They both work together. Big Tech and the alt-right work together. Big Tech, unprecedented control over our lives. Who gave them the excuse to censor, de-platform, and get rid of all of the real honest voices on the internet? It was these sick, psycho-deranged neo-Nazis from 4chan who are actually mentally deranged in the head. And because that one minority of minus minus one percent of people exist all authentic conservatives started to get deplatformed all authentic leftists started to get deplatformed these scumbags are working in collusion with big tech with the government and with antifa and with the left they all work together they all work together wallahi they all work together Richard Spencer supports Joe Biden. He supported Joe Biden in general. That's not a coincidence. That's not a coincidence. That's not a coincidence. Let me ask you another question. Is it a coincidence that one of the only countries on planet Earth where there's actually a real fascist movement is Ukraine? Ukraine which is also the beacon of the liberal maiden revolution. The Russians caught on. The Belarusians caught on. They saw it in its cradle. They said, holy shit. The fascists are back. And they're allied with the liberals in Ukraine. It woke them up. The Russians, they woke up. They realized, what the hell is going on? I thought World War II was over. What's going on? The EU? NATO? America? They're all working together with fascism? Just like they did during the Cold War? so convenient for me to be gone it's so convenient for me to be gone yeah this isn't about real conservatives these are about these nerds these larpers by the way 90 percent of them they had anime profile pictures if you're the real conservatives and you're, you represent tradition and honor and the family and the nation and the glorious ancient past, why do you have a fucking anime girl as your profile picture? Because you're just a degenerate and a fraud and a liar. Just like Stalin said, Hitler says he's a nationalist. He's not a fucking nationalist. What kind of nationalist wants to fucking conquer the whole world? He invaded Czechoslovakia, Poland, Denmark, Norway, Belgium, France, Poland, the USSR. That's a nationalist? And then Stan today call himself a socialist. That's not a fucking socialist. He's been in bed with the ruling capitalist class from the very beginning. They repressed the workers' movement from the very fucking beginning. They repressed the socialist movement from the very fucking beginning. And I will add, they say they're conservatives? How is it conservative? How is it conservative to be a degenerate psycho exhibitionist who's got all these swastikas, all of this disgusting, filthy spectacle that was Nazism, this filth and degeneracy that was Nazism. Boy, alaykum, the most disgusting thing on earth. 
When I see f footage of Nazi Germany, it reminds me of Chaz. It's a fucking psycho clown house. All of these psychotic, disgusting, deranged people. And they're perverts. They're all perverts. They're all perverts. They're nihilists. They're all nihilists. Nihilists. They don't believe in anything. Thanks, Zerka. Appreciate it, man. Appreciate it, Zerka. Holy fuck, I can't believe you were still streaming. Appreciate it, man. And it's like they taunt me and what's the reasoning behind it what what message are they putting out holy fuck imperator Thank you, Imperator. Thank you, man. Appreciate it so much. What kills me is they take my respectfulness for weakness. They take it for weakness. Let me tell you the difference between a conservative and a pervert. You want to know the difference? Uh, here's what a conservative is about. A conservative says, I'm about my belief, my tradition, my values, and I stand my ground. I don't transgress. You understand? A pervert crosses the line. A pervert tests the line. A pervert thinks they're God. A pervert keeps poking and prodding. Like a fucking little bitch. A pervert gets off. On being an exhibitionist. Just whipping their dick out and flipping it around and shit. That's a pervert. You understand? A pervert doesn't test the limits. A conservative doesn't test the limits. A conservative says, there's some limits. I'm just not going to go near them. I'm not going to test it. I'm going to keep to myself. Not going to test the limits. Why? Why prod into the abyss? Why? For what? To prove something? A pervert goes, oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to test all the limits. Oh, yeah, I'm going to test all the limits. Who cares? And they have... That's a pervert. I always used to believe you focus on your own. The biggest strength, the best criticism is self-criticism. If you're a leftist, you should attack the left. If you want to be the best leftist you can be. But now I realize that these super far right people, they are the same as leftists. They have the same perversion. Same perversion. And I stand by what I've always said. I have never ever had a normal right winger or a conservative be an anti-human piece of shit to me. It's only ultra-leftists and these super fringe far-right LARPers.
And like I said, you don't believe that they're working with big tech? Thank you, pa Palak. 105, thank you. Appreciate it so much. You don't think they're working with big tech? Like I said, let me ask you a question. Why is Twitch so strict? Why is Twitch so strict? Because there's a 0.00001% of people who are actually disgusting scumbags. And Twitch punished all of us because of them. Punished all of us because of them. And they use them as an excuse to go after us. Think about it. You actually think most conservatives are disgusting, hateful, nihilistic neo-Nazis? If you're not a leftist, what do you classify yourself as? A realist. I'm a realist. That's what I am. I think I am a leftist. But I don't try to be a leftist. I try to be real. And if as a byproduct that means I'm a leftist, then so be it. But I don't give a fuck about the left. I don't give a fuck about leftists. I don't give a fuck about them. Hot dog. Intellectuals are my problem. These people who... You, let me ask you a question, guys. You think those people from yesterday are, are uh, the working people, the working masses, normal people? They're all intellectuals. They all have anime girl profile pictures, and they're all fucking intellectuals. They all have anime girl profile pictures. They hate their families. They hate their father. They hate their mother. They are all degenerates. They are all degenerates. They are all degenerates. I want to ask a question. Can, yeah, it's a yes or no question. Can a real conservative have an anime girl profile picture? Answer me. Can a, can a true traditionalist, true conservative have an anime girl profile picture? Yes or no? Okay. So why is it that so many of these people calling themselves conservative traditionalists Right-wingers, they have anime girl profile pictures. Why is that? Explain why that is. Explain. Someone explain to me. That Nick guy, whatever, he's a fucking degenerate. Did you see that video of him and all of his friends? Gripers! Gripers, they're fucking chanting that shit, looking like the biggest fucking... Anti-social nerds? You think those guys get pussy? You think those type of people get fucking pussy? Those are people who like their chalky milk and chicken nuggies and they never fucking grew up. They never fucking grew up! They were always the weirdo nerds in school who never grew up. And if you listen to the mainstream Twitch... And YouTube. And this is why. Here's the kicker. This is why they want me gone. Is because if you listen to everyone else. You'd think that was your only choice. You're either going to be with the degenerate right. Or the degenerate left. They don't want you to know. There's a middle path. There's a golden path. There's a based path. And that's why they want me gone. Let me ask you a question. Why do all of these bread tube leftists accuse me of being like these far right uh, fascist people, whatever? Think about it. Why? Because they want you to think those are the only two options. Because those two options are two sides of the same fucking coin. They want you to think those are the only two options. They don't want you to know about me. They don't want you to know about me.
I know Jesus. Beto O'Rourke, Moldbug, and the National Security, they were all in a group together in the 90s, a hacking group. I know about that shit. I know about that. I know about how they're all connected. I know shit you guys wouldn't believe. These same lefties who tried to cancel me, calling me a fascist, literally had neo-Nazi Discord friends that they unleashed against me to get me banned. Now tell me how that makes sense. Tell me how that makes sense. Because they're two sides of the same fucking coin. Let me tell you why internet neo-Nazis is an op. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. I'm going to break it down to you. Nazis are foreign to this country. Foreign. The American people have nothing to do with it. So, big tech and the government got together and they asked the question. They said, how do we rein in control? How do we start censoring everybody? How do we start clamping down on speech? How do we start violating the First Amendment? We need an excuse. They said, we need an excuse. And they said, well, all you need is a good enough reason. All you need is a good enough reason. I said, I don't know. I'm going to put, we're going to create all of these accounts and hire all these agents who are neo-Nazis to go on the internet and do fucked up shit, say fucked up shit. And then blame all anti-establishment people for them. All the people who are skeptical of the mainstream establishment. We're going to blame them. That'll be our excuse. When Hitler rose to power, what was his excuse? Huh? You don't think they've done it before? The Reichstag fire. Oh, yeah. How did Hitler get the Enabling Act? Huh? Because they start, they burn down a building to have an excuse. How are Nazis anti establishment They're not. I'm telling you, they're not. They were created by the CIA, the FBI, and the alphabet agencies to discredit all anti establishment people in America. Yep. The left opportunists of today are the right deviationists of tomorrow and vice versa. Anarchists collaborated with the white guards. We are centrists. True centrists. We are the true center. The golden center. And that's why they want me gone. At 10 p.m., I'm going to be debating the guy called Other Carl. He's a nobody. But on Twitter, he said he's going to go beast mode on me when we debate. And I said, let's debate tonight. Because I need someone to take my anger out on. I need to relieve my rage. I'm a hungry tiger. I'm a hungry tiger. You understand? I'm a hungry tiger. I'm a rabidly hungry tiger. Rabidly. Rabidly. I'm the only fucking leftist who showed these people humanity, who showed them respect, who showed them charity. And they took it for weakness. You don't think I could have been like every other fake ML and been an Antifa guy and just shut my ears off and said, ah, I don't debate fascists and done that kind of shit. I treated them like a human being. 
And how did they repay me? Oh, they took it for weakness. That reminds me of something. Reminds me of World War II. When the Nazis took the Soviet reluctance to war for weakness. What happened to the Nazis? They were fucking destroyed! Do not awaken the Asian tiger if you can't handle the fangs. Do not awaken the Asian tiger if you can't handle the fangs. The Asian tiger wants to stay to itself. The Asian tiger prefers to mind its own business and hunt by itself. But if you want trouble with the Asian tiger, you're going to find trouble. You're going to find what you're looking for. The Asian tiger, it's a beautiful creature, a solitary creature, a creature that keeps to itself so much beauty and grace and how it moves and how it runs around. But what? You want to be a cold machine? You want to say might is right and you want to test your prowess because you say, it's not enough to be beautiful and graceful. I want to test you and your strength. Do you? Do you? That tiger will methodically, systematically, ruthlessly tear you to shreds. More than you could even imagine. I remember reading the diaries of the German soldiers about the Soviets. They go, oh my God. I mean, we invaded, we invaded Russia and, you know, we, we, we said these were the inferior race and that might makes right, but they're so brutal. They're so inhuman. They're so relentless. They're so ruthless. They don't stop. They don't stop. They're cold killing machines and they don't stop. Oh, I miss you. I miss you. I'm back from home. I want to go away from the front. I thought I was going to be a superior fascist. Oh, my God. Read their diaries. Literally, ad verbatim. Read their diaries. Ad verbatim. That's what it sounds like. Read their fucking diaries. Fucking. Fascist pussies who invaded Ethiopia, the proud people of Ethiopia. They said, we are the new Roman Empire and we're going to plunder like pirates Ethiopia because might makes right, might makes right. And then the Ethiopian warriors, despite not having their planes and their bombs and their modern machinery, there, those Ethiopian warriors gave them a beat down that it will take 50 generations of Italians to forget. The mighty Aksumite warriors drove the invaders out and humiliated the mighty Roman Empire, the mighty Roman Empire. Humiliated! Humiliated! Because the people calling themselves fascists are paper tigers. Paper tigers. The lions of Ethiopia tore the paper tigers to shreds.
when they were on the battlefield in World War II and Soviet soldiers said, Stalin for Stalin. The German soldiers, they would shit their pants. They would pee and shit their pants. <laughs> You wanted to test might, right? Because you said might makes right. And you wanted to test it. Big mistake. Big mistake. Because here's what the Nietzsche loving might makes right. Psychotic nihilists don't understand. Oh yes, it's true that might makes right. But might and right are one. Might and being are one. Might and God are one. Might and truth are one. You want to do might makes right? We can play might makes right. Because the truth of this world, the truth is a wrathful truth. A wrathful and mighty truth. Might and right are not disconnected. Yes, might makes right, but they're not disconnected. So if you're not in the right in history and you don't represent the truth of being, the truth of divine being, you're going to get your fucking ass destroyed. That's why peasant gorillas humiliate technologically advanced empires. That's why rice farmers in Vietnam sent the most powerful military in the world running home crying and scared. That's the might that makes right. Yeah, I agree, Mike makes right. But are you sure? Are you sure you really have what it takes to be mighty? Are you sure you do? The Eastern civilization unites might, truth, beauty, and justice. The Western civilization butchers them and separates them into little boxes and categories. The sun rises in the east. The winds are blowing from the east. The Asian tiger is rising. The descendants of Genghis Khan are rising. The heirs of the Mongol Empire are rising. Europe had its time. Europe had its time. And that time has passed. There's two camps, two camps in this world that are developing. The nihilistic West, and that includes the left, and it includes all of these far right, whatever, LARPers, and they're all of them. They're all the same. Or the beautiful and glorious East. Those are the two camps. Based. Communism Thank you, Bernie. P -R -E -V -I -A -L. Thank you, Bernie.
The biggest mistake anyone can make is test me. The biggest mistake you can make is test me. The biggest mistake is to test me. If you test me, you will wish to forget about those limits. Germany tried to test. Nazi Germany tried to test the Soviet Union. And now they forget. They just want to forget. They just want to forget the results of that test. Just forget about it. It was an embarrassment, right? I'm sick of people acting like fascists and Nazis are the tough guys of this world. If they're so tough, what happened to them? By their own measure. And let me tell you something. These fucking people wrote books saying the truth and righteousness of history is determined by might. Whoever has the military might deserve it. Just like a, um, it's just like a, a wolf and a lamb. And the wolf eats the lamb because the lamb is strong. The wolf is stronger. And whomever is stronger inherits the mantle of civilization and truth. Might makes right. War. War. And they lost the war. So what else is there? Explain to me how you can be a fascist in 2020. That's why no one's openly a fascist in 2021. It's a fucking embarrassment. It's a fucking embarrassment, man. It's a fucking embarrassment. They had one test to prove their ideology, and that was winning World War II. That was winning World War II, and they lost. So by their own standard, they are not the mighty ones. They're the bitches of history. That's why nobody admits of being a fascist today, because it's a fucking embarrassment. How could you admit that after what happened in history? How the fuck do you admit that? We communists are still around. Yeah, the Soviet Union's gone and the Eastern Bloc's gone, but the most powerful fucking country on earth is still ruled by a communist party. And ruled by a communist party... In an era of Maoist revival through Xi Jinping thought. And these people calling themselves fascists are so fucking bankrupt and pathetic that they have to claim China. <laughs> They're trying to take credit for the work of Marxists. Deng Xiaoping justified his fucking reforms in a way that was not only 100% consistent with Marxism, but 100% consistent with Marxism-Leninism, and actually proved it was the logical consequence. Mao is the one who appointed Deng Xiaoping. Because Mao himself understood that there was a need to industrialize and it wasn't happening. And that now that the cultural revolution's over, now we actually have to develop the productive forces. So how do we do it? That's, yeah, that's why Nick Land don't talk about China anymore. That's why he doesn't talk about China anymore. I just need to ask the fascists a question. Your entire theory was based on whoever is the toughest and mightiest and strongest is the, the true victor of history, right? Well, you guys fucking lost. So now what? All you can do is deceive and lie to people. Fucking cope. You fucking lost. Bitches of history. What are you going to say? We lost, but it wasn't fair. It wasn't fair.
What do you mean it wasn't fair? You're the one who started the war. You went to war against the whole world because you thought you were where the new Roman Empire might makes right. Might makes right. And you went to war with the whole world. You went to war with the whole world to prove you're the mightiest and you're the strongest and we're going to take everyone on and you got your fucking ass wrecked. That is the objective result. No, it wasn't fair. If it wasn't fair, why did you declare war? Well, we were surrounded on both fronts. Who forced Hitler to invade the Soviet Union? Who made him do that? He was at war with France and England. And he himself, he himself invaded the Soviet Union. Because, and this is what cultured thug had to fucking admit yesterday. Because he wanted England and France to make peace with him. Say, hey guys, join me. I'm fighting the Soviets. He wanted England to join him. Oh no, it's not fair. It's not fair. What do you mean it's not fair? I thought you're a Nietzschean Superman hero and you don't believe in the slave morality. Well, might makes right. And that's what happened in history. Why are leftists pussies? Why are leftists the pussies, huh? Why? In America. Because they're in collusion with fascism. Because real leftists know that we leftists, we're the winners of history. We win. We're the men. We're the tough guys. We're the fucking tough guys. We're the ones who win. You understand? And look. This uh, culture thug guy, he just showed a meme. He just showed a little meme. He showed a little meme. And he thinks it's so clever and it's so funny. He showed a little meme. He goes, so he, he, he said, companies owned by Amazon. And he put the infrared logo. And what he's saying is, since I'm out in the open, in the light of day reaching the public, that means I'm a sellout. I should just be a basement dwelling fringe psycho degenerate antisocial loser like him and that will make me virtuous right does that argue does his argument sound familiar because it's literally the argument ultra leftists always fucking make and have always made they are literally two sides of the same fucking coin they are two sides of the same fucking coin. New Frontier. That's their little new brand. New, so let me think. New Frontier is a think tank dedicated to the exposition of third position. And they have 400 followers. They, they started in December 2020. 400 followers. Infrared started actually putting itself out there in January. Now compare infrared to them. And they're saying I should take their, they're the tough, they're the good guys, right? They're the might makes right fascists. And I should follow in their step and be the bitches and failures of history like them. Hell yeah, I donated four dollars. Arab wants to you debate him. Would you be down to debate Arab? Thank you, hell yeah. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. They're paper taught. I'm the mighty one. I'm the fucking strong and mighty one. I defend my platform to maintain my strength. Yeah, I follow the rules. You think you're a tough guy if you break the rules? Well, okay. See how far you can get in this life breaking rules. You end up in prison. That's where you end up. And nobody will remember you. Nobody will feel bad for you. Nobody will give a fuck about you. You'll just rot in prison forever. And accomplish nothing. And accomplish nothing. And that's... That's where they're coming from.
The mighty one has such a fragile ego, he has to chimp out over YouTube and Twitter comments. Also, wait, let me ask a question. Who made those comments? The people making those fucking comments are intellectuals. They're not random pedestrians expressing their emotions. They're intellectuals making critiques as if I'm not going to fucking address them and put the little bitches in their place because I'm their alpha male. They anointed me as their alpha male. Any girl they ever talk to in life, I'm going to get her number and take her because that's my girl. I'm the alpha. I get the women. I'm the alpha, I get the women. Any girl you ever speak to in your life, any woman enters into your life, I'm going to call her and steal her from you. That's my woman. I'm the alpha male. She'll have my kids. You get nothing, bitch. You clean my underwear. You clean my underwear, do my laundry. That's what you're going to do. You understand? You clean my tank top, you clean my underwear, you do my laundry, little bitch. I'm the alpha male. Yeah, they think they're beyond reproach. Oh, these are just some comments. No, these are people who think they have a position of truth that I somehow can't respond to. No, I'm going to respond to it, make you look like a fucking idiot, systematically prove why you're a dumb fuck, and make you feel stupid. I know I made you feel stupid. You feel stupid. I am the... Oh, so you're the guy, Carl! Commander Brutus! Yeah, I am debating him on my channel. No, it's not going to be just on your channel, bitch. You're going to have five viewers. I'm going to have a thousand viewers. Okay? Don't be thinking we're all going to go to your channel and watch it there. We're not. I'm broadcasting it from here. So, by the way, Carl, if you mute me or, like, play with the audio, it doesn't matter because the video that's actually going to get views is going to be the one on my end. That's who's going to determine the conversation. So if you mute me, or, or that's just your little cope, your own safe space. You understand? And I am going to tear you to shreds. And I will not show you any fucking mercy. I will not show you any fucking mercy. And here's another thing, Carl. I expect you to show your face, you little fucking pussy. I expect you to show your face. Show your face. So everyone in your life, your employers... You won't do that? No, no, show your face. You have to show your face. Obviously, you have to show your face. What are you, a sellout? Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, you're going to show your face, right? Because if you don't show your face, you're a fucking sellout. Because you're a pussy and you're a sellout to the corporations and society because you're too scared that people in real life will know about your online activities and views and that you might get fired from your job or something. So you better show your face, you little fucking bitch. I'm expecting to see your face, and I'm going to judge your face, too. We're going to see what your face looks like compared to me and see if you get more pussy than me. Me, a beautiful, strong alpha male compared to you. I've heard your voice, Carl. You better practice speaking with a deeper voice because I'm not going to show you any mercy, Carl. I'm going to fucking treat you the way I treated SDL and the rest of those fucking bread tube people. And yeah, Carl, you are a fucking bread tube, and I'm going to tear you to fucking shreds like I've torn bread tube to shreds. It's going to be on my YouTube. It's going to be on my YouTube, Carl. That's another thing. At 10 p.m., guys, I'm going to give you the link, and we're going to go on to the YouTube. Because this is going to be a YouTube stream. So, just imagine. It's going to be on YouTube. Oh, yeah, you didn't know that? It's going to be on YouTube. You really want to test me, Carl? You want to test me, Carl? Little bitch. Based. Thank you, Kokoro. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, yeah, this is going to be on YouTube. Did you know that? Did you know? Did anyone tell you that? This is going to be on YouTube, not Twitch. Oh, yeah. I don't think anyone told you that, did they? I hope you got the memo, Carl. And Carl, don't be a sellout. I expect to see your face. And if I don't see your face, everyone's going to know about it. I better see your face. Because if you don't show your face, you're a sellout, right? Because just like me, 
who follows Twitch's rules, you are trying to follow the formal or informal rules of your real life. Because that's where your livelihood is. Just like how my livelihood is right now on Twitch. So I put myself on the line. And you should put yourself on the line too. Oh, you don't want to ruin your livelihood? Well, then you're a fucking sellout by your own standards. You're a fucking grifter and a fake and a fraud. And here's the thing. I'm sh here's, here's the thing. Here's the difference. You know how I have so much fucking skin in the game? Compared to these fucking losers, anime profile picture degenerates. You know the fucking difference? He posted his face on Twitter. Let me show you the difference. The difference? Ew! How ugly! What the hell is that? I'm not saying shit. I can't say. I I'll save it for the Please. YouTube. I'll save my comments for the YouTube, but we're going to definitely deep dive into this. <laughs> you could have chose a better picture than that, Carl. You could have chose a better picture than that. I'm saving this shit, too. I'm saving this shit. Hell yeah, we're going to cover that on the YouTube. Hell yeah, we're covering that on the YouTube. I'm, I'm going to save my comments for later. We're not going to talk about nothing. Save my comments for later. You win! <laughs> oh my god! Ya Allah! Ya Allah! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, dude! Holy shit! Holy shit! Holy shit! Holy shit! <laughs> Holy fucking! <laughs> okay, 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 okay. No, no, just wait. 10 p.m. We're gonna get this show on the road. Okay, we'll get the show on the road. 10 p.m. That's when the stream's gonna start. Um, <laughs> bruh, that's the people. That's uh, by the way, that's the people dissing me. That's what they. That's the people dissing me. All these people talking shit to me and dissing me and shit, that's, I mean, that's what I'm dealing with, okay? That's what I'm dealing with. Why is alpha maleness and appearance important? Shut the fuck up. I am, I, by the way, I did make a comment. I said, since I'm the alpha male, I get to have your girl. I'm going to call her and steal her. But all I'm going to say, Carl, is keep her. Please keep her. <laughs> Carl, I, I, I take that back. I take that back. 100% I take that back. Keeper, okay? That's all I'm going to say. I take it back, okay? I take it back. I take it back. I take it back. I take it back. Keeper, man. I take it back. <laughs> I take it back, okay? I 100% take that shit back. I take that shit back. Like, you take back some fucking broken Xbox back to Best Buy. I take that shit back. Like, take back rotten eggs to the grocery. I take that shit back. Like, you take back a flat tire back to the car dealership. I take that shit back. Like, a motherfucking loan a motherfucker $1,000 and then change my mind two seconds later. I take that shit back. Like, you adopt a fucking puppy and take it back to the shelter after it pees in your car. I take that shit back. Like, a motherfucker takes back a fucking wedding ring. Red ring after getting rejected trying to get married i take that shit back like you adopt a guy take him back to the uh, uh orphanage because he started vomiting spitting in your car i take that shit back like a motherfucking spoiled fucking milk you take back to the fucking grocery store man i take that shit back with all the fucking might and whatever in my heart i take that shit back 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 I take that shit back. Woo, Carl. Woo, Carl. Woo, Carl. I take that shit back, Carl. I take that shit back. Honest to God, I take that shit back. And Carl, you know, it was that a flex or what? <laughs> we'll save it. We'll save it, okay? We'll save it. We'll save it. But I'm glad you're showing your face. Hope you show your face during the debate, too. We want to keep your full face during the debate.
to c compare and contrast the alpha male and the soy boy, and it'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. And Carl, even if it's going to be in your stream, stream yard, what difference will that make? It won't. I usually only debate people in my VC in the Discord. He was such a coward. He insists it has to be in his stream yard. He's too scared to debate me in my own Discord. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> he deleted it! He deleted it! But I saved it! It's okay! He deleted it! He deleted that shit, bruh! Why would you put it if you're gonna delete it? Bruh, I didn't show shit. I didn't show shit. You're the one who sent that to me. Why you send it to me and then delete it? Bruh, I hope you're ready for this debate. I hope... And, and here, Carl, let me give you some advice. All that confidence you felt, all the confidence you had when you were typing those comments on YouTube, I want you to have that same energy. Keep that same energy, Carl. We're not going to be friends by the end of this. So if you think about, oh, actually, Haas, I want to be your friend. I'm not going to be your friend, Carl. I'm not going to forgive you either. You wasted my time so much. Carl, you're not a prominent guy, so it's not like I gained anything from this in terms of viewers. It's just that you actually managed to invoke my wrath this much. And now there's no going back. We are having a debate. There's no going back. No, he's not going to get scared. Dude, if he, if he gets scared off and quits, he literally forfeits everything. He is no longer on the internet. He's gone. He's done. He's completely done. He's completely done. I've never been this fucking wrathful. I have not been this wrathful for a long time. I, I, this reminds me of like when I debated SDL and those people. That's, that's, what I'm, that's the kind of energy I'm at right now. You understand? That's the kind of energy that I'm at. I'm hungry like a tiger's hungry. You understand? I'm hungry like a tiger's hungry. I hope we can migrate everyone to the YouTube when the time comes. By the way, this is what an alpha male physique looks like. I even look better without the beard. Look at that. Alpha male physique. You understand? Oh, fascist Mike makes right? I'm a communist with a capital C. This is Mike. All natty. This is Mike, by the way. This is what Mike looks like. I'm not like these intellectuals. I do what they talk about. When they talk about honor and strength and hard work, I'm doing that. That's why I got this. Because I work hard every fucking day. And I push my body to the limits every fucking day. No excuses. Because I have the will and I have the determination to actually do it. I don't just talk about it, Carl. That's why I look like how I am. And that's why you look how you are. Because I do what you talk about. I do what you talk about, Carl. Wait, wait, wait. Abe the T-Bandit. Thank you. Hold on. There's a big problem here. There's a big problem here. Carl, did you just delete your tweet? Did you just delete your tweet? Wait. If you delete your tweet, 
You're a shill for Twitter and Jack Dorsey. How could you delete your tweet, you fucking sellout? You're scared of the big corporations? You just deleted your tweet. Word of advice, Carl. Anything you post on the internet is permanent. Not, not because of me. It just is. So if you don't want to put out a message, just don't. Just don't. He got scared. Yeah, he, he's, oh, wow. You really tough, might is right type of guy. You just deleted it. And his Twitter is gone. He deleted his Twitter. Wait, <laughs> his Twitter is gone. Oh, no, never mind. Here it is. Okay, his Twitter's still here. Thank God. It was like an error. I clicked on the page. There was nothing there. <laughs> okay, hold on. Um... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <laughs> oh dude oh god <laughs> Oh, wow. Oh, he said, he said, I'm not like bread to, by the way. Ooh, you're not? You're not? We'll see. We'll see, Mr. Intellectual. You're an actual idealist. Giovanni Gentiles, you're about actualism, right? Well, you are actually going to be tested tonight. We're going to actually see. I, I hope you're practicing your deep voice, right? Because I heard your voice. You know, it, it, it's not really a good look, Carl, for like a really tough, like fascist guy or whatever. So I hope you've been practicing your tough guy voice. I hope you've been practicing like your deep voice, right? And, and Carl, Carl, you've got to be quick. You got to be quick, right? You got to be quick. You understand? Oh, man, how they test me. The way they test me. Carl is, like, done, okay? I mean, like, that, there's no coming back from that. There's no coming back from that. Absolutely none. Absolutely none. <laughs> oh, man. See, listen. Whenever y'all are mean to, like, these type of people, I'm like, guys, come on, you know? Because you cast the first stone. Why do you cast the first stone? But they just proved to me why people are casting the first stone. Because I, I, I show them, like, decency and humanity, and they take it for weakness. A grassroots movement of deep web weirdos instead, which will never be anything, which will never amount to anything. Which will never amount to anything. He tried to be angry. It was really pathetic. <laughs> That's okay, dude. We've had people try and do that. Remember the, the tank thing? We had people try and, like, rip my style. But they, it doesn't sound the same. You, you can't just try and sound like an alpha male for it to work. You actually have to be one. And I don't see an alpha male in Mr. Carl. I don't. I don't see an alpha male. I don't. I don't see an alpha male. <laughs> like his his own, i'm gonna tell you his only cope is to be like a timid little intellectual like oh i'm the reasonable one and haas is like yelling and being mean that's your only cope dude if you're irrational like you're not gonna win two irrational people i'll win because i'm the alpha male i'm just the better guy i'm a better man overall
Urban Maoism, you're not a nerd, dude. You're not a nerd. You're not a nerd. I've talked to you. You're not a nerd. You're a real OG, man. You're real. You're real as hell. A nerd is a fucking arrogant piece of shit who's just not even fucking smart. That's a nerd. Real people are not... Real ones are not nerds, okay? Real ones are not nerds. Okay? Just because you're an intellectual don't make you a nerd. Logo and Contbot, those are real Chad intellectuals. Real Chad intellectuals. They have meat and potatoes behind it. And you make of it what you will, but it's there. They got something to offer. You make of it what you will, but they it's there. They got it going on. You understand? People like Carl, they have nothing, nothing going on. Nothing. They are just LARPer, leftcom fucking nerds. Let me tell you the difference between a nerd and a Chad intellectual. Okay? A Chad intellectual goes to the depths of being and makes it out the other side. And they produce a result. Kantbot and Logo do that. They actually... When they, they, like, their work is scarred by some kind of experience. Some kind of deeper engage, bold and brave engagement with reality where they risk something. They risk their bias, they risk their ideology, they risk their ego, and they, they go to the abyss and they bring something back. People like Carl create a little safe space. And they just stay there. Yeah, and Ed Burke too, same thing. He's, he's a Chad intellectual too. When it comes to a Chad intellectual, it's the, it, the proof is in the pudding. Their work speaks for itself. They actually have work. Okay? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Not going to lie, the blonde... This is... I'm quoting Carl. This is what Carl was saying. Not going to lie, the blonde chick was kind of nasty, but I tweaked and brought it back up. Wait, what did you bring back up? Are you... So you're saying, like, Carl... I don't know if I can say this, but the reverse is true. Like... <laughs> Look, uh, how do I say this? I really don't want to hurt these girls' feelings. I don't want to hurt their feelings. It's so mean. It's so mean. But this is not a flex, Carl. And it's also not an upgrade, whatever you were talking about. If you think that's an upgrade... Uh... <laughs> it's like, I, I, do, I, do, do we live on different planets or something? Do we live on different... like? <laughs> Bruh, 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 I'm here. <laughs> okay, to be, to, to be charitable to you, Carl, uh, when we start the YouTube thing, I'm only going to show the upgrade, and I will see if chat thinks it's an upgrade, okay? That's your words. That's your words. Upgrade, right? <laughs> oh, damn, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. This is not, this is like... Dude, this is, this is literally what it was like to be a Soviet soldier conquering. And it's like, you reach Berlin and you're like on top of the roof. And the German soldiers are just like, they're just taking so many L's, you just feel bad for them. It's like, yeah, you came to my homeland and you said you were the master race. And that you were wanted to enslave us and exterminate us and destroy us. And you were tough shit. And now you are disproven, but I literally pity you now. I pity you. Like, because I'm a human being. You can't help but pity them, right? When the Soviets were on the counter-offensive, counter they issued an order to the Soviet soldiers, do not engage in um, acts of vengeance against the German people. Don't do that. Don't, and, and take POWs. Don't, you know, follow the, the conventions of war. Take the POWs. Don't, you know... Because they felt bad. It's like, damn, you know? 
I mean, like, yeah, you're the you're the one who <laughs> it's you know what I mean? But here's the only difference is that what East Germany am I going to get out of Carl? Right. Am I going to turn Carl into my East Germany? What half of Carl can, can be redeemed? Ten dollars as a traditional Catholic, not traditionalist. You're absolutely right about right wing larvers being anti human degenerates. Glad I got some life experience and grew out of based grow I trad path. You are real and I respect that over any of them. Thank you, Huey brother. You a brother to me, man. I mean, I don't want to do parasocial, but I, you're a stranger, but you're the stranger I consider a brother. You know what I mean? You a real one. You a real one. A real traditional person who's not a fucking degenerate and actually tries to stay true to the good of this world. You don't fall, don't fall into any of the extremes. You stay on the middle path to good whether you're a catholic you're orthodox christian you're muslim or even if you're you're an atheist of some kind you just believe in good you believe in the good you stay on the path of good you don't you don't you don't fall into these extremes of people doubting the good you stay true to the good stay on the middle path is caleb Maupin an intellectual chad yes he is he literally is he literally is he literally is <laughs> oh man dude logo logo said something bro please log off you are humiliating yourself and people you ostensibly care about by using them as tokens of your value it's depraved and pathetic frankly find jesus christ dude if anyone's gonna convince me not to like show on the YouTube, it's going to be Logo. Because, wow, you know, he, those people don't deserve that. They don't deserve that. I think I got to show it, but I'm not going to be mean. I'm just going to show the audience because he's the one who showed it. I'm just going to show the audience, and I'm not going to be mean. I'm not going to encourage meanness, but I'll just show the audience what, you know. But un unless Carl asks me not to, if Carl asks me not to, I won't, right? So Carl has to ask me not to. He has to say, please don't. Because if you don't want, if you don't want me to, Carl, I won't, right? It's up to you because you're the one who posted it, right? So you posted it at me. So. You know, I, I'm assuming that's what you want. If that's not what you want, you can tell me. All right, I'll let you get on cam too. Yeah, we're going to see if you get on cam, you know. If you uh, man up, get on cam. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, Carl. I'm not. You know what, Carl? I won't even quote tweet you. This is your new. He has a new one that he posted. I'm not gonna quote tweet it. I'll just like share it. Just share it. <laughs> Okay, I'll just share it. That's it's okay. Not gonna quote tweet nothing. I'll just share it. Okay, I'll just share it. <laughs> oh my god, dude! Oh my god! What the? <laughs> Oh man, okay. Okay, I mean I, I wish this was a little harder for me. I have honor, guys. I don't like one sided battles. You know, I have honor. I have honor, guys. I don't like battles that are one sided. I, I it's like it's almost like you're 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 in a katana battle, martial arts battle, and the guy drops his katana and he's like, Come on, go go pick up your katana, man. I mean, this has gotta be a fight. 
Hassan just dropped a dog shit take on Marxism. What did he say? What did he say? <laughs> what did Hassan say? <laughs> oh, God. What did he say? Tell me. What did he say? <laughs> He's drama baiting? Okay. I'm not the Marxism police. Every time Hassan says something dumb about Marxism, like, what am I going to do, dude? I'm not the Marxism police. What am I supposed to do? Yeah, that's the precedent. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, dude. Holy shit. Uh, is this... Bo I'm kind of questioning if I should do this. Like, I mean, I am going to debate him or whatever, but like, I'm questioning if I should be mean. Because... You know, it's like, okay, I, I'll talk about it on YouTube, but it's like, it's, it's not fair. It's not fair. You know, it's, it's, it's like, I thought I was dealing with like, like, you know, some actual, you know, person who wants to be a threat to me. And it's like, it's, this is the, this is like bullying the weird kid at school. You know, it's like, I mean, yeah, he's weird, but. Does he even know any better? You know? Yeah. It's it's punching down. Yeah, it is. It is. He no, I'm not debating him on Twitch because uh they have a history of <laughs> of uh they have a history of um what's the word? They have a history of like, you know. They have a history of uh, deplatforming. Hassan just bought a $2 million house. I don't give a... F you, know, you know what pisses me off more? I don't care. Hassan, you want to get a nice house? That's fine. Everyone wants a nice house. Everyone wants... Guys, who doesn't want a nice house? I don't... I, that doesn't mind. What actually ma makes me cringe, though, is that he got it in West Hollywood. The fact that he got it in West Hollywood is what makes it fucking cringe. You have to act as an agent of karma sometimes. I agree, dude. That's the difference between us communists and these bestial, anti-human fascists. Is that we are human. We show humanity. But it's almost a weakness that we do that. But we do show humanity. These people are evil, nihilists. But yeah, as I was saying... Um... West Hollywood or Hollywood Hills, whatever. That's what makes it cringe to me. Because it's like it's almost like Hassan wants a house where like all of like the, the cool people are and like all of the connections are. And that's what makes it cringe. Like, for example, if Hassan got a nice house in a more low-key place, I would not take issue with that, right? I mean, I don't take issue either way, but it reflects a certain level of cringe. You know? Yeah, I mean, it reflects a certain level of cringe. But who doesn't want a nice house? Who doesn't want a nice house, dude? I'd love a nice house. The issue is that it's in West Hollywood. <laughs> That's the problem. Hassan's whole socialist image is a grift. You have to realize something about Hassan, though. The type of socialist he is, is he's a democratic socialist. So, he's not really serious about it. He's not really serious. He's like an AOC type of socialist. You know, I don't want to call him a grifter, because it's like, what is a grifter then? Because people call me a fucking grifter because I make this. And this is not enough to support me, by the way. This is 3K a month. Which sounds like a lot. But there's high rent where I live. And I don't live in a big city. It's just that there's high rent where I live. 
for other reasons. Um, and yeah. It's not enough to, to live off of. And especially, even if it was enough to live off of, it's not enough to live off of comfortably, like with security. Like, you know, securely live off. 36K a year is fine, dude. Um, it depends. Not to maintain my lifestyle. To keep these muscles? No, it's not. <laughs> it's not. It's not. Not to keep these muscles and stream full time. And have extra capital to invest in the stream. It's not. I mean, technically it is, but I would have to move to a cheaper place and quit law school. Because the reason rent is high where I live is because of law school, right? Um, if I move to like a random place with good internet, 35, 36K a year would not be bad. Um, but it's barely enough. It's just barely enough, you know? Thank you, XYZ Adam. Are you looking to be a lawyer? I, I took a year's leave for this. Let me ask you guys a question. I took a year's leave for this. Now, just imagine. This is why I hate these far-right people. This is why. I'm going to just tell you why I hate them. Why I decided they're my enemies and I hate them. Here's why. Imagine if I lost this. Just because some dumb fuck showed a book on stream. And when you tell these people, they're like, well, since you're such a revolutionary, then what do you mean, dude? Do you not have any humanity? Do you not have humanity? I took a year's leave off law school to grow this. I've grown this Twitch channel from scratch. I've put so much work into it. Obviously, I think about the long term over the short term. You don't think that would be a huge loss in my life? Well, I, you'd still be alive. Yeah, I'd still be alive. But compare the fucking risk to the gain. Like, yeah, I'd be, that's the measurement you're going to go off of, dude. This is what I dedicate my life to. I dedicate my life to this shit. Yeah, I'll still be alive. I won't be dead. But the thing I live for and care about... You wouldn't understand why I'd be frustrated and freak out if I just lose all of this... For, for something so small, you don't understand that? You can't bring yourself to understand that? Fine. Don't br Look, fine, fine. You don't have to understand it. But my charity and humanity and kindness to you is over. It is over. If you cannot respect something as elementary as that, I will show you no mercy. I will show you no charity. I will treat you the way I treat BreadTube going forward. If you can't bring yourself to respect something as basic as that, you are my fucking enemy. You are my fucking person. Just because let me explain it to you. This is what my life is for. Growing this channel is my life's purpose and calling, at least for now. And the foreseeable future. We're talking years. At least one year, right? Because it's only been like half a year. And look how far I've come. Look how far I've come in half a year. Okay? That might not mean anything to you. But it's what I've been doing for half a year. So can you not afford... And look, what did I even do that warrants them to taunt me like this? What? I was. This is exactly what I did, Chad. I'm going to replace what I did. Ready? This is what I did. Fuck. Fucking damn shit. Based. Hold on, man. Uh, you just... Infra 8 has, Infra 8 has, Infra Thank you, Liquid 8 Richard. Has. Let me redo it. I said, this is what I, this is what I did. I said, oh, fuck. God damn shit. I have to delete the VOD. I'm not allowed to be frustrated over protecting because... I'm not allowed to be frustrated over that. Based. If you can't let me be frustrated over that for like a minute... And it was literally a minute of frustration. You're my enemy number fucking one. 
Because this is what I dedicate my life to. And if you can't respect that I'm going to be frustrated for a minute, if a dumb fuck like CT makes a stupid, pointless mistake like that, because like I said, what does it matter to show your book on stream? What does that even accomplish? Nothing. If you can't see how that's going to frustrate me in general, and you're going to fix on that one minute of frustration, I am going to go fucking beast mode on you. And thank God for Cultured Thug that he was so respectful and he was so remorseful apologizing to me. Oh, I'm sorry, man. I won't do that again. Oh, man, I'm sorry. Yeah, like I said, man, I'm sorry. Thank God he did that. Because if he didn't, I would have humiliated this 43-year-old man. I would have humiliated him. Age means nothing to me. This is my life's work. If he would have disrespected me over that, he would, have, he would have had immediately gotten the gorilla beast mode. Immediately. He just waited till the debate was over to start being disrespectful, talking shit. You come from my fucking life, Lee. Look, you make a mistake. The honorable thing to do is apologize. And he did that. So that's fine. But I still had to delete my VOD. I still had to stop everything. And I still had to worry about if I'm going to get that email. Because I didn't know at the time. So that's not going to distract me during the debate? Of course it is. Even if he did the right thing, I have the right to be frustrated by it. How could I not be? And that's dishonorable? That means I'm not a real uh, leftist? That means I'm not a real Marxist? That means I'm inauthentic and I'm fake? And look, here's the kicker, guys. When I tell this to them, they just mock me even more. Proving they're not, they don't even care about listening to reason. They don't even care about listening to reason. They're just like leftists. I wish I could stream it on Twitch. We have so many viewers. I wish I could stream it on Twitch. You know? Unfortunately, we can't. Because this is a guy who plays dirty, right? This is a guy who plays dirty. But it's going to be in 30 minutes. It's not going to be yet. It's not going to be yet. But, God, this guy really fucked up. Really fucked up. You know what the smartest thing for him to do was? Be a little bitch, apologize to me, and move on. He really dug himself one. China is as fascist as it gets. It's so funny watching lefties support them. Ultra-nationalist president swears himself in for life. Soy, how do I salute? That's fascism? That's fascism? How is that fascism? Ultra-nationalist, is China a nation-state? Or is China a multi-ethnic civilization that has more nationalities than women you'll ever talk to in your life? In your whole life. Just talk to. Not saying fuck. I'm just saying talk to. But fancy me this. Before you type that in my chat. Did you feel smart? Did you feel intelligent? Did you feel intelligent? Did you feel smart and intelligent before you typed that? 
Like, did it make you feel smart at all? Or did you doubt yourself that it, it might be the dumbest shit you ever might type? Or do you care? Have you seen Carl's chat? Why? Who cares? I'm not going to show this fucker any mercy. I'm not going to let my humanity make me weak. There's no humanity going forward. I'm a tiger. No humanity. I'm not going to be weak. I'm not going to be weak. I'm not going to show mercy. We're going in. We're going in. We're going in. No mercy. I'd love to turn the other cheek. Be merciful. But these people will never learn otherwise. We are debating someone tonight. It's going to be at 10 p.m. And it's going to be on YouTube. This is going to be ugly. This is going to be ugly. It's going to be ugly. It's not going to be pretty. When I say ugly, I'm talking like the Cans Cook video ugly. When I say ugly, I'm talking about the SDL debate ugly. You understand? I don't have the grace in me to show mercy to this fucking scumbag. I don't. I already feel like I won. After he posted himself and shit, I already won. But in case there's more confusion... We're going to prove he's a pseudo-intellectual who doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about. Doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about. Right? He's probably looking in the mirror right now. I can do this. I can do this. I'm not bread tube. I'm going to stand up to highs. Are you going to do a post-debate stream on Twitch? Depends how long it takes. Depends how long it takes. Zolt is pretty racist there. Okay. I have seen Zoltanius. I am an Arab. I am an Arab. Okay? He wants to be racist against me, right? I'm on Twitch, so I can't... It's not a level playing field on Twitch, right? Because on Twitch, you can't do that. I would just say, don't throw, gla don't throw stones in glass houses, Zolt. I'm a Phoenician Lebanese. All of the great Greeks were Phoenicians. You can compare where Europe was at with the, where my people were at for most of history. Compare where your people were at to my people for most of history. You want to be racist against me, Zolt? This is a game you won't win. You won't win that game. So maybe you should just be a tolerant liberal because you won't win that game. Just like the Germans thought they were the superior race and that the Slavic people were subhuman, they regretted that. They wish, they wish they would have been tolerant liberals. Zolt, I've seen how you look, by the way. I've seen how you look. I've seen your face. I've seen your face. Do not play the racism game with me, Zolt. There is no woman in your life who will not salivate before my cock and worship me like a king before they ever give you the time of day, including your mother. My Arab cock, Zolt. My Arab cock. My Arab cock. My brown Arab cock. 
You understand, Zolt? I am the superior male overall to you. I am a superior male. Superior Semitic male. Superior Semitic Arab male. Do you think racism hurts my feelings? The truth is, chat, when people are racist toward me and Arabs, I am delighted because they just gave me the green card to be racist back. And they end up regretting it and they start crying. I would love to talk to you about Arabs in comparison to Europe. I would love to. Ooh, don't worry. I would love to. That don't hurt my feelings. We can go there if you want. We can go there if you want. By the way, they're not Arabs, but how's Europe doing in Afghanistan? Mighty Europe. All of Europe combined. How are they doing in Afghanistan? How are they doing? Huh? Mighty Europe. This is a superior race, right? What happened in Afghanistan? Guys, we have to be... Come on. This is Twitch. We have to chill. We're to, we're, we have to be tolerant. Okay? We have to be tolerant liberals. Look, we're tolerant. We're tolerant. That's it. Don't be racist against me. You will, you will regret it. I promise you, you'll regret it. Afghans are Indo-European. Chat, who do Afghans look more like? Me and Arabs or them? The average Afghan looks more like who? Them or me? They're Indo-Europeans. That's a language group. So what? That has nothing to do with race. That's just a fucking language group, dumbass. Yeah, they're literally like, we were the real Duranis, yeah. Shut the fuck up. How is fighting racism with racism a good thing? No, then don't be racist toward me. It's simple. You don't have to go there. But the truth is, is that as an Arab, as a Muslim, as a Middle Easterner, I have more pride in my heart than you, your family, and all your ancestors combined. So don't go there. Learn the difference between ethnicities, culture, and racial classifications. Phoenicians, Europeans, and Middle Eastern are the same phenotypic Caucasoid race, dumbass. There's no fucking such thing as that Caucasoid race, dumbass. That's a completely fake, made-up bullshit thing. Because think about it. Where does the Caucasian race begin and end, huh? It's so fucking stupid. Everywhere they try to identify where it begins and ends, you just find people mixed with others. So in Central Asia, they're Caucasian, but they're also Asian. They're mixed with Asians. And then in uh, East Africa, you have Hamitic Caucasians, but they're mixed with um, African people, right? So what, what race are you talking about? There's no Caucasian race, you dumb fuck. And by the way, if I'm part of the same race as you, why do you come at me on the basis of race? You're not going to win that argument. You're not going to win that argument. My people, the Arab, gave fascist Italy a spanking in Libya. And I'm also connected with Libyans even more because of the Phoenicians who went there. My people gave the fascist French Vichy regime the biggest spanking of their life in Algeria. I agree that might is right. But do you really want to argue you're the mighty ones? What happened in Libya?
Let's not play these games. Let's not play these games. And if you insist, it's not going to turn out well for you. It's not going to turn out well for you. Europe is not as kind to European civilization. History is not as kind as you would think. Does Iran count as Asian? Of course it does. Of course it does. Of course Iran is Asian. What, Iran's European? You should be humble. The thinkers of the European Enlightenment who gave you everything were humble. They were all humble. They all tried to learn from Asia because they knew everything was in Asia. What did Napoleon say? Napoleon said, Europe's a molehill. All the revolutions, all the great history happened in Asia. Europe's a molehill. 600 million live in Asia at the time. That's what Napoleon said. Napoleon was great because he was humble. Every arrogant piece of shit who thinks they're better than others eats shit and fails. I'm going to piss and be right back. We got 12 minutes. We're going to start making the transition in a second. Okay, listen up. Soldiers, here's the plan. Debate starting in 10 minutes. Debate starting in 10 minutes. We are gonna transition now, okay? So, here's what I need you guys to do. First things first. First things first. First things first. We're going to show, given the Discord, so you can have the link. One by one, we're going to migrate, okay? This is now moving to YouTube, because this shit is real, okay? And this fucker, he plays dirty. And also, this is going to be too intense for Twitch, okay?
So, we're going to do this. You understand? Okay. The migration begins. <laughs> 